Hello, in this video we're going to derive an equation for an isoquant. So an isoquant is a curve showing all combinations of two inputs, labor and capital, that produce a given level of output. We're going to solve the equation for an isoquant for a given level of output. Here's our production function. Quantity of output equals labor times capital, and we're taking the square root of both labor and capital here. So we're going to solve the production function for k. Uh, remember, we put units of capital on the vertical axis, so we're going to solve this for k, while units of labor go on the horizontal axis. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to square both sides, so q squared, and then we're going to square the right-hand side to get rid of the square root symbol here. So we get q squared equals l times k. I'm going to divide through by units of labor and we have our expression for an isoquant for a given level of output. So for example, the equation for a 10 unit isoquant, we're just going to plug in 10 for Q, and we get K equals 100 divided by L. So you could give me any value of L, get the corresponding value for K, and you have one point on the isoquant. So for example, if L is 2, K is 50, and that'd be one way of producing um, 10 units of output. All right, let's do another example. Uh, we want to solve the equation for an isoquant for 100 units of output. Here is our production function. I'll just set Q equal to 100 right at the beginning here. And then I'm going to divide through by 2. So 50 equals the following. I'm going to divide through by L to the 1 half and we have an equation for an isoquant for 100 units of output. Uh, let's find three input combinations that produce 25 units of output. So here's our production function. I'm going to set Q equal to 25. As before, I'm going to just solve for K. So dividing through by 0.25 25 divided by 0 0.25 is now 100. I'm going to divide through now by the square root of L. So we get K squared equals 100 divided by L to the 1 half power. And then I'm going to take the square root of both sides or, ra or raise both sides to the 1 half power. So on the left hand side we just get K. Uh, 100 raised to the 1 half power, the square root is just 10 and then L to the 1 half now becomes L to the 1 fourth power. So we want to now find three input combinations that produce 25 units of output. So I'm just going to plug in various values for L to get the corresponding value of K and that will be one of the input combinations. So putting together a table here, let's start if L is 1, if L is 1, K is 10, and that'll be one input combination that produces 25 units of output. We could double check our math by plugging 1 in for L up here and 10 in for K, and if you do that and simplify, Q will be 25. Let's find another input combination that gives us 25 units of output, or just another point on this isoquant where Q is 25. Plugging in 16 for L. So 10 divided by 16 raised to the 1 fourth power is 5. So when L equals 16 and K equals 5, we'll also get 25 units of output. And again, you can double check your work by plugging 16 in for L up here and 5 for K up here. And finally, another input combination. Let's let L equal 81. So if L is 81, K will equal 3 and 1 third. So when L is 81 and K is 3 and 1 third, we have yet another input combination that produces exactly 25 units of output. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.